Vampire facelift effects? I'm thinking of trying the vampire facelift. I don't necessarily need it because I'm 25 years old. I just feel my skin looks dull, so I want to rejuvenate it. My curiosity is, if I do this, but don't maintain the effects every six months, will it have any effects such as aging my skin? Thank you for your question. You're 25 years old and you're considering a vampire facelift and you, you state in your question that uh, you realize that you're young but you, are, you want to do something to improve the quality of skin which you perceive as dull. Um, but your question and concern is what would happen if you did not maintain this procedure every six months? Would it in some way accelerate aging in the skin? I can certainly assist you with this question. Uh, a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship trained oculofacial plastic reconstructive surgeon practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I've been a member of the uh, Vampire Facelift uh, Network of Doctors for uh, many years now and I've actually been a resource for the media whenever the uh, Vampire Facelift has uh, been in the news for a variety of uh, instances, um, including when some uh, celebrities had had the procedure. And so uh, I can certainly uh, teach you a little bit more in terms of the details of what the procedure is and what its effect would be on your skin if you were to consider doing this. Well, to, just to begin with, I, I would say that 25 is a little bit young for a procedure like this. In general, the vampire facelift idea is to address the changes that occur in the skin and in the volume of the skin um, in closer to the decades of the 30s and 40s where there are aging changes that can, ben that can be helped with this procedure. To define what a vampire facelift is, it's basically a combination of platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma, which is derived from your own blood, is a concentration of healing and growth factors that help stimulate collagen. And the way it helps, quote, dull skin look better is that it stimulates blood supply and improves the elasticity of the tissue on the skin. So the skin has a very nice glow and it's one of the most beautiful and unique aspects of platelet-rich plasma that no other injectable can really accomplish. And the other part of the vampire facelift is the use of a single syringe, one milliliter, one cc, of a hyaluronic acid filler such as Juvederm, Restylane, Belotero. And that, that uh, injectable filler is placed strategically in areas which there is some benefit and it's up to the doctor to decide where that is and that is the vampire facelift. So it might be that really what you're interested in is improving just the skin quality because at 25 chances are you don't have a volume deficit that is, uh, that is of concern unless it's genetic but rather it's just the effect of platelet-rich plasma. Now, when I talk to my patients about platelet-rich plasma treatment, there's always a dialogue about what the expectations are and what it will take to reach those expectations. I always compare it to going to the gym. If you're going to work with a trainer, you have a certain expectation. You don't expect that you do one workout and that you reach your goals. It takes time to reach a certain type of objective. Well, the same thing with skin. Skin, especially when you get older, requires a certain amount of maintenance. And yes, there is a certain consistency that is recommended in order to get the full benefit of platelet-rich plasma that I discuss with the patient on a case-by-case -case basis. But I can assure you that platelet-rich plasma injection does not accelerate or the, the, uh, the aging process will not be accelerated if you stop using it. It's not like a dependency. It's not an addiction. It's not a chemical dependency. It's simply the effect of the platelet-rich plasma, much of which does have a certain degree of permanence. You know, the blood vessels that, are, that, that grow in and the collagen can last, 
but it depends on where you are in the aging process and the genetics and other factors that are affecting the aging process that affect the longevity of the, of the benefit. For example, in our practice for complexion improvement or for acne scars, we'll have a patient come in uh, maybe once every three to four months to maximize the effect of the platelet-rich plasma. In people who just want generalized healthier looking skin, they can do this twice a year. So it really depends. Again, it's, it's individualized. For someone who's 25, you may be over-treating by trying to do something like this, and you may be better off with some type of glycolic acid facial, something like what we do in our practice called hydrofacial. It's a uh, kind of a, a, a fusion or a, a process where it's like microdermabrasion except with water and it infu with the infusion of glycolic acids. So it's a really successful way to help get um, sk skin to have a nice glow. And that might be something that straightforward that would be right for someone who's 25, rather than getting into the injectable world, which there is plenty of time for. So my recommendation is, is meet with a doctor who does offer this vampire facelift procedure, learn about what can or cannot do, and I think that you can also ask what are the alternatives. I, I think it's important to make intelligent decisions and find somebody that you can trust and who will give, do the right thing for you. So with that being said, I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. and Thank you for your question.